everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to go over the five greatest female scientists of all time, focusing on their contributions, their research, and how they shape the world we live in today. Marie Curie was a Polish naturalized French physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first person and the only woman to win a Nobel Prize twice, and the only person to win a Nobel Prize in two different scientific fields. In 1896, Henry Backerel discovered that uranium salts emitted rays that resembled x-rays in their penetrating power. He demonstrated that this radiation, unlike phosphorescence, did not depend on external sources of energy, but seemed to arise spontaneously from the uranium itself. Influenced by these two important discoveries, Curie decided to look into uranium rays as a possible field of research for a thesis. Using her husband's electrometer, she discovered uranium rays caused the air around them to conduct electricity. Using this technique, her first result was finding that the activity of the uranium compounds depended only on the quantity of the uranium present. She hypothesized that the radiation was not the outcome of some interaction of molecules, but it must come from the atom itself. She shared the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics with her husband, Pierre Curie, and physicist Henry Becquerel. Together, this team of scientists proved the evidence of radioactivity. In 1911, she won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery of two new elements, polonium and radium. Dorothy Hodgkin was a British chemist who advanced the technique of X-ray crystallography to determine the structure of biomolecules, which became an essential tool in structural biology. In 1945, Hodgkin and her colleagues, including biochemist Barbara Lowe, solved the structure of penicillin, demonstrating, contrary to scientific opinion at the time, that it contains beta-lactam rings. In 1948, Hodgkin first discovered vitamin B12. The large size of this molecule and the fact that the atoms were largely unaccounted for, aside from cobalt, posed a challenge in the structure analysis that had not been previously explored. The final structure of B12 was published in 1955 in Hodgkin's publication, and in 1964, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Her research did not stop there. In fact, she discovered the final structure of a substance widely used today, insulin. It began in 1934 when she was offered a small sample of crystalline insulin by Robert Robinson. It took 35 years after the first photograph of insulin crystal for the x-ray crystallography and computing techniques to be tackling larger and more complex molecules like insulin. Hodgkin's work with insulin was instrumental in paving the way for insulin to be mass-produced and used on a large scale for treatment of both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Lise Meitner was an Austrian-Swedish physicist who contributed to the discovery of nuclear fission. Completing her doctoral research in 1905, Meitner became the first female from the University of Vienna and the second in the world to earn a doctorate in physics. In mid-1938, Meitner began working with chemists Otto Hahn and Fitz Strassmann at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. Hahn and Strassmann later that year showed that isotopes of barium could be formed by bombardment of uranium. This principle led to the development of the first atomic bomb during World War II, and subsequently other nuclear weapons and nuclear reactors. Meitner received many awards and honors later in her life, but she did not share the 1944 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for Nuclear Fission, which was awarded exclusively to her long-term collaborator, Otto Hahn. Several scientists and journalists have called her exclusion of the 1944 Nobel Prize unjust. However, Meitner has received many honors post that, including the naming of the chemical element 109, mitrarium. She was nominated 19 times for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry between 1924 and 1948, and 29 times for the Nobel Prize in Physics between 1937 and 1965. Tu Yuyu is a Chinese pharmaceutical chemist. She discovered artemisinin and dihydroartemisinin used to treat malaria, a breakthrough in 20th century tropical medicine, saving millions of lives in South China, Southeast Asia, Africa, and South America. She had the idea of screening many Chinese herbs and personally visited practitioners of traditional Chinese medicine. One compound was effective, sweet wormwood, which was used for intermittent fevers, a hallmark of malaria. Two discovered that a low temperature extraction process could be used to isolate an effective anti-malarial substance from the plant. In 1972, she and her colleagues obtained the pure substance known as artemisinin. Furthermore, two volunteered to be the first human test subject. As a head of this research group, I had the responsibility, she said. 
For her work on malaria, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine on October 5th, 2015. Françoise Barisinosi is a French virologist and the director of the Regulation of Retroviral Infections Division. In 2008, Barisinosi, with her mentor Luc Montagnier, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of HIV. During the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s, scientists were shocked because they didn't know what was causing the outbreak. This discovery revealed an urgent need for diagnostic tests to aid in the controlling and spreading of the disease. Barisinosi started her own laboratory at the the Pasteur Institute in 1988. Among her many recent research contributions are studies of various aspects of the adaptive immune response to viral infection. Professor Barre Sinosi believes that scientists have made steady progress with the development of the antiretroviral treatment, which is being accessed by 17 million people globally who are living with AIDS. But finding a cure or cures will take time and continued investment in research. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time you guys, stay fresh and stay golden.